Hi, this is Robbie. This is my algorithm for reducing and deduplicating the vertices. Um, here it is. You grab the vertices and indices from the original mesh. So these are just in the default format as they came in. Then I create a hash map where the key is actually my vertex um, and the value is going to be some new index. The way I use vertex as a key here is I added a hash function for vertex, which just combines all of the elements of the vertex into a hash function. And then I also define an equality operator, which uses exact equality for all the components. And then I can use it as the key here. Um, so this allows me to quickly look up a value based on the vertex uh, unique footprint. And I use that when I iterate over all of the indices. And then I call try and place on the hash map, which only inserts if it doesn't already exist. And I do that with some uh, incrementing index value here. Um, and so each unique vertex footprint gets reduced down to a single entry in the hash map. And then it's associated with some new remapped index. Uh, so if there's two duplicates, um, they'll now m both point to the same remapped index and then I update the indices in place to point to that new index um, whether they insert it or not. So then at that point I have this uh, map of all the unique vertices and so I resize my vertex buffer to be the size of the uniques and then I go through them and whatever index you got is now equal to that unique vertex. Uh, just using the assignment. And so you end up with a smaller vertex buffer of just the unique ones, and then all the indices now point to that new unique uh, index. Uh, all right, so that's the algorithm, and then I'll run it. Here is the dragon, and I can press a button to do the reduction. So I'll press this, and it'll print it out. So this model, I think, is like a 3D scan or something because it has a unique vertex for each polygon and it has a lot of those. So there's actually uh, 750,000 originally, which gets reduced to 125,000, which is 16%, which is pretty good. Um, but that's not really a realistic model. If we switch to the spaceship here and then optimize it, we have uh, 4,331, which is down from 4,447. Um, so that just had a few duplicates. And then R2D2, for example, it doesn't have any duplicates. So you just get back the original number of vertices.